No, was that somebody like looking for help? Uh oh. What's happening? Who's that? Oh, it's it's done. That's the Helen. Uh, Officer Dunpart, who's that? Uh, Helen Dunpart, a senior botanist. Ah, uh, Jess, contact Central. Tell them there, there's an incident here. An incident? What kind of incident? Something is going on. She, she has multiple stab wounds. What? Look, contact Central. Tell them it's a violent act incident. Have them send aid. Her helmet was damaged. She couldn't breathe, but she made the journey anyway. Jess, how many people are in Solace? The system lists six. Mining crews stop during storm season. Those there are for research and cycle maintenance. She never had a chance. What was she? Where was she running from? So we need to figure out what happened to Helen. She's obviously been stabbed, and my guess, it has something to do with compound 26. I wonder I wonder what we need to do next. Let's check our PDF here. Locate the drill bay hanger. Okay, so there it is, the drill bay hanger. So we are, uh, so there's a door right here that we're gonna need to go through. So we need to get to the stairwell and see if we can get through that door. Okay, yeah, there it is. Drill bay hanger, B2. I bet you we're gonna need a different key card. Oh, no, it's open. Okay, cool. Awesome. How are you holding up? Are well, they train us for mining accidents, but never anything like this. We don't know what this is yet. What is the point of watching all of these shows if you refuse to apply what you've learned? I'm not ruling out zombies. I hope you are think you're wrong. <laughs> what did Central say? They're sending support. It will be a while though until they reach you. Rod. I, I'm at my limit. Welcome back to Fort Solace, everybody. This is part two. I hope that you guys enjoyed the first part. I know I got a little bit of feedback on it, and people seem to really enjoy it. Um, I'm excited to see where the story goes from uh, from here. What's this? There's, there's a poster there. Alien civilization on Mars. Level four, so level four access for this area. See, I've been really, really enjoying this so far. Like, this is... It's such a cool, like, change of pace of a game. It's not run-and-gun action. It's not strictly horror. It's not... It's just... It's more of a cinematic experience. Um, a lot of dialogue. And it's almost like watching a movie, which is fantastic. And I'm really glad that I decided not to do a face cam in this because... My face in somebody else's movie just wouldn't go well. Okay, so we made it to... Looks like the lobby. Ooh, drill. Solace has been up here for years. Must be starting to show its age. I think we are long past that. Solace is vintage. We're back at the bar? No. I knew I should have taken the bottle with me. <laughs> what? It's after midnight. I I'm officially on vacation. That's fair. He is on vacation, but there's a lot of people getting stabbed, so you probably should drink. Maybe we're the one doing the stabbing, and we just don't realize it. Okay, so that's locked. It's the restroom. Let's check the restroom, see if there's anything in here that... Oh, gee! What? These hand dryers! Same back on ours, just so loud. <laughs> if you weren't already on edge. Exactly. <laughs> we did find one of those power units in there, though. Can I turn around, please? Thank you. Okay. So we're probably going to need that to get through another door at some point. So N-Tout, Drill Ops Manager. 
Oh yeah, we'll need it to get through here. Cool. So what do we have here? Oh, sweet. Hopefully this is what, this will be like a level three. Yes, awesome. That's what we need. Oh, here's another plant. We can change things. Don't give up, Helen. Interesting. So we got some gloves here. Why would they need these? Maybe they so I wonder if the I wonder if they knew what they were doing. Um, but maybe they were using those to protect themselves from whatever was causing people to get sick. I guess we'll see here. From Helen Dunpart, Nick, the shipment seems too low again. I can't sustain the project's ambitions unless the quota is met. I will need additional materials this week. Please inform your team. Thanks, Helen Dunpart. Nick, Dawson and Salim have shown symptoms of overexposure. I have asked numerous times for teams to log their surface hours, and yet your department continuously fails to do so. Can you please update your logs this week? Thanks, Wyatt Taylor. So Wyatt is the doctor, the medical officer. Nick, I have inspected the damage to the hangar door as discussed. Adam is asked to take the door offline in sh the short term. I wanted to keep the residents' wild animal rumors going a little bit longer, but sadly it wasn't to be. The aim is to have it back online next week, providing the storms let up long enough for the engineers to work on it. I'll keep you updated. Thanks. Oscar Richardson, security officer. Okay, so here we got a uh, video. With no audio? I think that's working now. Everything here is broken. <clears throat> Surface trips are still progressing despite the increased demand from Helen. This cycle has... It's been a tough one. Morale around the team remains good as the storm season approaches. Most are looking forward to a break. The power outages here don't help, but we've done our best to manage. So it just seems like a typical update. No accessible systems found. Surveillance drill site. Drill bay hangar. Security station. Nothing there. Okay. So we downloaded all that stuff to our PDF. I want to see if there was anything else on there. So these are the new messages. Those are all all the new stuff that we found. No. Okay, and these are all things we've already seen. Okay, cool. So now that we've got the security level three key card, we should be able to get to the drill bay hangar. I don't know what this I oh, see so here's the main hangar. I wonder how what uh, what level we need. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. I am not good at quick time events, man. Jack? What happened? What was that? Uh, uh, a platform. It, it came right at me. How? No idea. Uh, I'm, I'm not the only one searching in the dark. Was it defective? I'll check. All right, yeah, as long as, it's not like we already walked slow enough as it is, and we've got... Actually, what did that say? Sorry, I just completely just went over there and did it. The future. Engineering the future. Okay. Um, yeah, like... <laughs> we get whacked with a freaking pallet. Oh, the way's blocked off now. Oh, gosh, of course it is. It seems in working order. I, at least it was. Well, keep your guard up and get that generator back on. Roger. Yeah. You remember when they first introduced Titans? Excavators? Yeah. <laughs> I still remember the redundancies. That'll be us at some point. Well, they will always need someone to fix them. I guess so. So, yeah, I wonder if somebody was in here trying to sabotage us from, like, 
finding out what's going on and release that to, to try to hit us. So we can't get into that. Let's see if we can get into this one here. There we go. What do we have here? So there's obviously some tension here between this tout guy, Taylor, and Helen. There's definitely some something going on between them. Obviously, the medical officer is probably just trying to keep everybody safe, but it seems like Helen and this tout dude are just being super selfish about their research and not really giving any kind of thought to what it could be doing to other people. <sighs> I'm trapped, Jess. Trapped? The platform's blocking the door. I can't remote access it. The lockdown has sealed all exterior bulkhead doors. Blow the blast doors. Ah, uh, if only. Well, given how the night is going, it's not the worst idea. Or did you take your helmet off again? No, it's on. A terrifying that I even have to ask that, isn't it? Did you put yours back on? Sure. I'm gonna have to get creative. First time for everything, I guess. What did he have in mind? I'm gonna walk the tracks. Nice night for a walk. Watch out for any more haunted platforms. I don't know if I would want to walk the tracks, especially if we think somebody's trying to sabotage us. Just like the power supply for it. Um, oh, okay, we have. We have this now, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh, maybe we can put it in this to move it so we can get down on the tracks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So it is like a power supply unit. All right. Like I'll have to open these doors manually. Mm-hmm. Does look that way. tracks let's get going I'm kind of worried about what's going to be on these tracks like we still don't know if there's like actual creatures um like aliens or if this is all man-made like everything that's been going on again. Oh, 
Oh. This place is broken. Oh no. So did the power go out, or is that just these lights? Like, looks like the emergency lights came on. Do I need to? Oh no. I do not like this. Not even a little bit. This is horrifying. Well, where are we gonna go? The, this door down here is closed too. Oh, there's another. Okay, maybe this one will work. Trying to get a hold of us. Oh, we're back on the okay, we're back out on the surface. But there's storms. There's storms too. Oh man. Jesse there? Finally. No, you miss me? Not funny. I I thought the worst had happened when your comms went down. Interference in the tunnel or from the storm, I guess. Okay, where are you now? I'm not sure. I need to work my way back to the surface. So we're back outside. Is that the rover? It looks like... maybe? I don't think that's the one that we came in on. No, it's not. So there's a ladder there. I don't know if I should... which way I should go. I'm gonna check out this flag first, though. Oh, just more content unlocked. We'll go through all that content at the end of the series just to see what it all is. Titans are so much bigger in person. Yeah, the name kind of gives it away. Okay. Let's go ahead and get up the ladder here. All this going on and no one has radioed for help. You buying that? Usually not a good sign. What is going on here? Well, you did say you weren't ruling out zombies. You seen any? <laughs> <laughs> not yet. I mean, they, they radioed, that's what, that's what caused us to come down here in the first place, but ever since then it's just been radio silence from, I mean, I assume the, there's a lot of people at this base. Strange. Monologuing again? The storage unit ahead is open. Okay, just get to the maintenance unit. I'm just going to take a look. It's like you watch these movies and try to one-up the dumb protagonists who die early. I'll be right back. <laughs> I, oh, I can't even. <laughs> Man, they're, this relationship between, between these two is just absolutely fantastic. I mean, what's the what's what's the harm in checking out this shipping crate? Jack. Oh. What happened? Uh, 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 stay uh, calm. Uh, Remember our train. Uh, Focus uh, and calm. I found another. Uh, tout. That's their drill operations manager, according to company records. Is the guy from the drill bay hangar before? I don't think so. Let's get to that generator. So, okay, so no. To the maintenance unit now. Are we just gonna overlook the fact that I accidentally pressed on his face and like broke his jaw? Like contorted him. <laughs> oh man, that was brutal. Okay, so I don't know which way I need to go, but we gotta get to what they say the hangar? I think that's what he said. But I guess we're gonna wander around until we find it. I can't imagine the like how it would feel to be one to be on Mars. Like that would be cool. But then having something like this happen to where things start to go crazy, like there's nobody to call in for help. You know, you just have to kind of figure everything out on your own and you're you're just you're stuck. Like if something really bad happens, you're just it's hopeless. 
Okay, I'm at the MU. That's still never going to catch on. Heading in. Roger. Hey! Just trying to lighten the mood. Hang in there. Roger. I regret it already. Okay, just found a body. Another body for the third body. And it's still just nonchalant about everything. Okay. Let's get in here. So we got some stuff over here. Look at this place. What is that? Interesting. All right, what is this here? Feels great to be included. Feels like what I'm doing here is more than just keeping the drill spinning. This planet, this base, it can house evolution. That matters. Wow, I sound just like her. Sounds just like Helen. Okay. So Nick, that's the guy that we just found in the storage crate. Uh, we we did it. We, we may or may not have, uh, you know, smashed his face in by accident, but I can promise you that he didn't feel a thing. Oh. Why is everything after me? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, man. So you go ahead and open up the other one. That's fair. Okay, so there's another power supply unit. I'm going to call them that. I forget what they're called exactly, but they do supply power, so they are a power supply unit. Looks like it might go in over here, maybe. Oh, what's this? Hey, they have an orbit. A printer. Yeah. Very cool. But yet, Star Walks are dull. Oh, it, it's a different vibe. <laughs> just, just a different vibe. You wouldn't understand. You would not understand. Is this a poster we've already found? No. Exploring new worlds. Okay, so we got a computer here. Okay, whose office is this? Okay, Adam. I know you share my concerns about Helen's work. I would like to discuss options and steps in evaluating her Frontiers project. Nick's team can't continue like this. Morally, I can't allow it. Wyatt Taylor. So Wyatt really is completely opposed to everything that they're doing. Okay. Hello, Adam. I have updated and changed the security overrides to the greenhouse as requested. Is everything okay? Let me know if you need anything else. Adam Nadiri, communications officer. Residents, please take care in maintaining and storing your tools. Negligence and damage can lead to accidents occurring on site. Regular safety checks are enforced. Please do not use faulty equipment. Thanks, Terra Tools. Hi, Adam. The tow line for the ridge access seems to continue to jam. I have looked into it today, and it's more than likely it needs replacing. It may still be able to function in terms of moving equipment up and down the ridge, but it could also go at any minute. I'm unable to put in a replacement request, so I will leave that to you. Thanks. Hector Morales, engineer. So is that the cable that we came up on in the first episode that jammed on us and we had to swing over to the, uh, the platform? Hi, Adam. Thanks for the email. Sadly, I was out of the game early. Nick called me with 2-7 off suit. The bar beckoned after I lost that hand. To my knowledge, Nick and Wyatt got into it a little, but nothing more than just a general disagreement. I can't say I saw anything as I wasn't there. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. So they got into a poker argument. Interesting. Recording this after a long day. I've just been out to look at more weather damage to the arrays. We are cycling out a season towards the storms, and uh, tensions are high here. Days are getting harder. The site is on course, and we continue to work towards a better tomorrow. All right. Systems are searched offline. Nothing, nothing there. Okay. Well, no, they definitely need a new winch. So I think that was, okay, I think that was the, uh, 
The one that we came up on. Okay. Was there anything else over here that doesn't look like it? Let's get through here. Okay, here's the door that we need the, the power supply for. Okay, all right, so where, where are we exactly now in relation to everything else? So maintenance unit, that's where we are now. Um, so we're right above, I think, where we need to go. Okay, so here's the generator room. I believe this is where we need to be. All right. Nothing with that. So dark. The generator looks like it was powered down. Powered down? How? Like, someone hacked the control panel and overrode security. But well, why would someone do that? No idea. Whoever it was, obviously didn't want a record of anything. With the security compromised, I'm unable to reboot the generator. I'm locked out. What about the other generator? It's been sabotaged. Okay, that's it. You need to return right now. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's time to get back. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the alarm. How many are with you? 